Hi, this is Dawn Oshevsky, and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today, we're going to make this fun little card. It's Mickey Mouse. Love it. Bow tie and all. I saw a similar card to this um, on the Stampin' Up! Disney trip, of course. And it was Kay Kaltoff, my friend Kay. So thank you, Kay, for sharing this. And actually, it has a little surprise on the inside as well. So I'll share some punching tips with you, and let's get started first thing that you're going to need is a piece of basic black cardstock and it measures three and a quarter inches wide by three and three eighths long and the next thing that you'll need is a one and three quarter inch circle punch I'm going to put this in and, and all the way until it stops okay. now save these um, punch out pieces the next thing I'm going to come in is with the one inch circle I'll come in a little farther because I found a couple little tricks for this. And when I first did one, I kind of punched it with a lot of little extra space there. And I found you really only need just a tiny little bit. I hope you can see. It's just a little sliver there. So that's for his ears. And punch that out. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side here. Or we could even flip it like this. That, that way we kind of are punching in a very similar way as last time. Just a little slit. There, isn't that cute? So see, um, this is what you get. This kind of shape when you go in too far with that punch. But when you just punch just right on the edge of his head, it look you get more of that Mickey shape. The next thing I want to work on is a little bow tie and what I have done is this is the heart to heart punch it has three different shapes on here and it's only available for one more week unfortunately but I have found this size heart the smallest one works the best for his his little bow tie the other thing is I'm using the heart excuse me the owl punch and I'm using his eyes so the eyes have three pieces it's a large a medium and a, and a small almost tiny I'm using the medium and I've punched these out right so I've attached all three of those punch outs to mini glue dots and I'm just gonna pull these off here and we'll attach the heart underneath those little um, owl eyes just one of those and the heart, other high side of the heart and there you go You've got that cute little bow isn't that adorable love it it's a perfect little size for Mickey so now we'll just add the cute little bow to his just underneath his chin isn't that adorable Okay, so I flipped that over and I added some dimensionals on the other side because I want to pop this up. And we're going to add it to a piece of real red. And this piece measures three and a half by three and five eighths. And there we go. So darn cute. Now we're ready to add it to our card base and our card base measures four and a quarter inches wide by 11 inches long and I'm just going to use snail adhesive to attach this piece to it and you can see I've already stamped happy birthday on there and that is from the curly cute set that's a wonderful greeting set I love that set and I thought it was perfect for our little um, our little Mickey makes it kind of a happy happy birthday and then remember those pieces I said save your punch outs so here they are so they were just put together like this and so the ears will fit right on there to make your little happy birthday Mickey love it wishing you the happiest birthday ever can't you imagine Mickey Mouse saying that well this is comes from on your birthday it also is retiring here in a week so look at this this is Mickey Mouse but I also made his friend Minnie Mouse exact same product this is the exact same bow just put on on for her hair instead so how cute is that whether a boy or a girl they certainly can have a fun Disney birthday so thank you for joining me 
Be sure to stop by my, by my blog at dostampinwithdawn.com for more creative ideas.